Hey everybody, this is Alex for Harmonica.com and today's topic is 7 sizzling harp riffs from 1970s songs. Coming up next. The Wizard The Wizard is a song by Black Sabbath, featuring Ozzy Osbourne on the harmonica. It starts off with long restless notes and is followed by an aggressive riff played with a band. Hear how it sounds. The title refers to Ozzy Osbourne himself. He became known as The Wizard shortly after the release of Blizzard of Oz. And it was also said by Geezer Butler, the bassist of the band, that the song's lyrics were influenced by the wizard Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings. Piano Man This is a song by Billy Joel that was inspired by his experiences playing at the executive room a piano bar in Los Angeles. He worked there for six months in 1972 after his first solo album, called Spring Harbor. The characters in the song are based on real people Joel encountered while working at the executive room. The harmonica part was inspired by Bob Dylan. Dylan was the first person Joel saw use a harmonica holder, so he could play another instrument at the same time. The riff sounds like this. When the levy breaks. When the Levy Breaks is a blues song by Kansas Joe McCoy that is mostly known in Led Zeppelin hard rock version. It's based on the Great Mississippi Flood of 1927 where African-American plantation workers were forced to work on the levee at gunpoint, piling sandbags to save the neighboring towns. Hence the lyrics in the original version are I works on the levee, mama both night and day, I work so hard to keep the water away. The harmonica is played by Robert Plant in a dirty, aggressive style using a Jimmy Page's backward echo technique, where the echo is ahead of the sound, which adds somewhat a psychedelic feel to it. River. This is a song by Bruce Springsteen based on conversations he had with his brother-in-law. After losing his construction job, he worked hard to support his wife and young child. The imagery of the chorus and the end of the song were inspired by Hank Williams' hit Long Gone, Lonesome Blues. The song's depiction of how economic difficulties are interlaced with local culture also presaged in 1980s popularity of Heartland Rock. It features a crying-like harmonica melody played in third position in the original recording, and it sounds like this. Heart of Gold. Heart of Gold is a song by Neil Young. Recorded in just two takes, this song is by far the biggest hit for Young as a solo artist reaching number one on the Hot 100 in 1972. Bob Dylan complained 
I used to hate it when it came on the radio. I always liked Neil Young, but it bothered me every time I listened to Heart of Gold. I'd say that's me. If it sounds like me, it should as well be me. Harmonica is played using chords and intervals, and it sounds like this. Roadhouse Blues It's a driving boogie by Doors that features John Sebastian on the harmonica. The harmonica mostly plays feels between the vocal lines and sometimes a phrase by phrase with a guitar. The song could refer to the Topanga Chorale Hotel, a windowless nightclub in the counterculture enclave of the Topanga Canyon, where Jim Morrison lived. To get to the venue, you had to take Topanga Canyon Boulevard, which is full of twists and turns. You really had to keep your eyes on the road. The song quickly became a concert staple for the group and it has been covered by numerous artists. Harping on a riff. Harping on a riff is a harmonica instrumental by Charlie Musselwhite, Mississippi born and Memphis raised bluesman. This track comes from Musselwhite's most fertile years when he was playing a style of music he learned with Big Joe Williams on Maxwell Street and Muddy Waters in the clubs of Chicago. This track features unique repeating riffs for each 12 bar verse. Let's check it out. Not to mention, Charlie won WC Handy Award six times, a Grammy Award in 2014 for the best blues album and was nominated 13 times. He was called a harmonica master by New York Times and known as one of the best white blues musicians. I hope you liked the video. This is Alex for harmonica.com. Take care.